the Venus Cup came out early in 2019, and as some of you may know, I was one of the testers as well as recruiting some of you to also be testers and giving your feedback. Thank you all for participating in that. So the Venus Cup comes in two different sizes, a small and a large. It's made in the USA, is FDA registered, and at the time of this video is only available in a purple. The large Venus Cup has the second to the highest capacity with 47 milliliters to the top of the rim, only being beat out by the Marula XL with 50 milliliters. However, the Venus Cup was able to achieve that capacity with still being within the average size and width. It's also about a medium firmness or slightly to the softer side of medium depending on who you speak to. Since I had so many requests for an actual review of this cup, I'm gonna skip over the unboxing, but I'll still go ahead and pan over some photos of what you'll receive if you order it. The Venus cup is offered in the small and large separately, or you can purchase their starter pack with both sizes for a slightly discounted cost. If and when you purchase the Venus Cup, I do have a discount code for it. I'm actually not sure how much of a discount you'll get, so if you do end up purchasing it, can you please let me know in the comments? These cups are only offered through Amazon at this time, so the discount is for Amazon and the code is Red Herring TV, and I'll leave that code in the description box as well as the link to the Amazon listing. If you're interested in hearing more about the Venus Cup and my experience with it, stay tuned. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Personally, I liked the larger size Venus cup, one, because of my medium to high cervix length, and two, I knew the capacity was going to last me most of the day, if not all day. I never felt like my cervix dropped low enough that I needed to use the size small, but I did use it anyway for a few days when I expected my period and a few days of spotting. My review is going to be more based on the large size because of that. Folding the Venus cup was really easy. I could do it one-handed. I mostly used the C-fold because it was fast and easy, and the insertion point was small enough that it was comfortable for me to insert. Inserting the cup went smoothly. There are no raised areas except for the grip rings, and those have rounded edges. I really didn't need any coaxing to get this cup to open. There were a few times that I pressed it to my vaginal wall to create a pocket for it to open up in, but I'm not sure if I actually needed to do that or if it was just out of habit. There is a thickening of silicone as you get to the upper rim as well as an inner ring to help reinforce the mouth. Even though the base of this cup has a little bit of firmness to it, it's still soft enough for me to be able to insert a finger, press it to the side, and to feel around the rim to check that my cervix was either right above the rim of the cup or my cervix was sitting inside of it. Wearing the Venus cup was comfortable for me. Uh, I did trim the stem off of my sample cups. I used those instead of my pretty new purple ones, uh, so I wasn't really ready to trim the stems off of these. My sample cups work just fine, and they are made of the same medical grade silicone as the actual launched cups. I could have left the stem intact, but it's just a habit for me. I know that it's going to be comfortable if I trim it, so I just do. If you're not sure if you're going to be able to reach your Venus cup when removing it, please don't trim the stem until you at least try it a couple of times. Then you can trim the stem cone by cone until it is comfortable for you. I didn't feel any extra pressure, I didn't have any cramping, no bladder sensitivities, and I did wear it on a few occasions for the full 12 hours, and a few times I actually wore it for a few hours over. I didn't get a really strong seal when using the Venus cup, but I did have some resistance when I gave the base a gentle tug. But because it has an elongated body, it was easy for me to reach the base of the cup, give it a pinch, break that seal, and remove it without a section. 
Please remember that we might have a different experience in how tight of a seal is created. I know that some cups that don't create a, a very tight seal for me create a tight one for someone else or vice versa. I love that the Venus cup has a high capacity without being too bulky, either too long or too wide. The large Venus cup would probably be more comfortable and easy to reach for someone who has a medium to high to a very high cervix. And for those of you who have a medium to low cervix, the small might be more comfortable. However, if you have a very low cervix, I think it still might be a little too long. Well, that's all I have for now about the Venus cup. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Again, don't forget to use a discount code if you go shopping. I also forgot to mention that Amazon are the ones who dictate where a product can be shipped to. So the only way to find out if it can be shipped to your country is to actually go through the shopping cart like you're going to purchase the cup and see if it states that they will or not. Also leave me a comment down below if you've been looking for a high capacity cup with some of the features that the Venus cup has or if you've already picked up the Venus cup, how is it working out for you? Until I see you next time, take care.